Hey guys, well um, now it's early August and I uh, thought I'd give you another quick whip around the veggie patch. Um, it's been a couple of weeks. You see here that the peach, uh, donut peach has sprung to life, which is very good. Which means spring is on its way again. Um, but on the other hand, the white flesh nectarine, I'm pretty sure it's cactus. It's gone. Uh, since last time I spoke to you I've um, distributed a bale of hay all around the fruit trees so um, just mainly two things to keep the weeds down not that weeds is overly a problem because of the chickens behind here but also to try and keep some more moisture in the ground as well and um, just to add a bit more nutrients in as well I suppose uh, there is the banana trees doing well the uh, all the, the um, blackberries, raspberries, that sort of thing, they've all pretty much died off now. Uh, about ready to shoot through again. Actually, saying that, the raspberries here have just started. There's a couple of small shoots there. So I did trim them back a little bit. Um, so they're starting to poke their way through. The, this is where the Asian veg was, that's finished. Obviously I'm trying to sort of finish up getting ready for spring planting, so um, yeah, just holding out to plant something there. English spinach, uh, after a big hacking a few weeks ago, it's just starting to come back now. Uh, there's the silver beet, with some newer ones that I planted earlier in the week, just over there. This is the Swiss chard doing extremely well and the four rows of carrots which are just about ready to be harvested probably start next week I can show you might be able to show you uh, just in here you can see if I scrape that away there you go they're getting pretty close it's still a little bit green on the top so they need a little bit longer but yeah almost Almost ready with the carrots. Uh, blueberries have sprung to life. Fingers crossed for a harvest like uh, last year because last year was unbelievable and I do like my blueberries. So there's plenty of buds on the stems and I've trimmed back the dead wood. So yeah, it's all, all in readiness there for the blueberries. Um, black currant. Didn't get any black currants last year since it was only the first year. Fingers crossed this year I do. It's just coming to life now. You can see uh, shoots on the side there. And this one also is a black currant as well. Yeah, it's just got a few shoots on it. Uh, what else? This bed's pretty much finished. Ooh, evil cabbage moth. Evil. Evil. Um, that's Mizuna, but it's pretty much finished. There's some cauliflower here. Uh, lettuce, they've gone to seed, they're pretty much ready to be pulled out. Broccoli, which is really taking off now. I've got three lots, different lots of broccoli on the go at the moment. Uh, this will probably be the last one to harvest. Uh, some rocket there. So as you can see, apart from the broccoli and the cauliflower, this bed's pretty much ready to be ripped out. Uh, these are all potted up bits and pieces. You can see chives in here. Uh, this is lemongrass. It's only just starting to come through. You can see there. Uh, a couple of different stages of basil here and dill just there there's a nice this this will be a good basil this one looks good uh and then these long pots here these have got a combination of parsley coriander and basil and then these the strawberries now that it's warming up they're all starting to come to life plenty of strawberries on there plenty on this one heaps so that's all good Rosary and pots all along here. 
There's some coriander, various stages of coriander. We've got it's probably a few weeks away, and then these ones here, which are only just springing to life. And we've got parsley, two varieties there. We've got flat and curly. This is thyme grown from seed, just getting some uh, growth on it now. These ones here are lemon thyme, which I'm trying to strike. Um, just from the cutting. Only just done that today, so time will tell. Um, and then here today, I just done some kale from seed, and here I've done another lot of uh, fancy lettuce, or I guess you call it just salad lettuce. And that's the last leftover from the last lot I've done. Um, there's purple beans, it's, they're doing okay even though it's winter, just because I took a chance because uh, I thought they'll get the warmth off the fence and it seems to be paying off. Plenty of flowers on them up here, they're starting to flower on the other side here, so that's good. Moving on over the other side, there's potatoes, they're doing really well actually. I can show you how well they're doing. Check this out. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful Ruby Lou potato. Keep that covered over. Lemongrass going absolutely crazy. Rosemary, mint, which is starting to get a bit scraggly, so I've given it a good hacking back. Hopefully some more light will get there and um, it'll come back nice and bushy. Uh, coriander, lemon thyme, and the normal thyme, parsley, just had a pretty big haircut today. Uh, chives, and basil. And then this is marjoram, which I've just tidied up today, taken away all the dead wood and oregano which has had a pretty severe haircut as well just trying to force through some nice new spring growth this is the Tuscan cabbage which has been pretty heavily harvested you can see down the bottom there these are Savoy cabbage you got the red cabbage They're getting close to starting to form hearts now. This is kale which has been really heavily harvested. You can see there's only a few leaves I need to let this recover a bit. Um, here we've got onions which are very slow going but getting there. I don't know if I'll grow onions again. It'll just take too long and waste of a bed really I think. Um, Snow peas, doing okay, but these ones I've found that I've got to pick them pretty early. These ones left too long, or else they get very stringy, chewy. So um, I should really pick them like, like that. This is okay. Yep, yeah. yeah, okay. Hmm. Um. There's more there. I've just planted some in between the gaps too today. So that will take a couple of weeks to come up. More snow peas. More snow peas. Um, these are my favourite. These are sugar snap. These are oh, so crunchy. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And these are just here, normal peas. Excuse me for eating, but I can't help myself. Broccoli. They've been harvested. See if I get a little bit off these side shoots. Enough for a meal, maybe. Cauliflower. I don't know what's up with this one. Looks a little bit strange. 
various stages of cauliflower. Another one here. This one's looking good. This one's looking really good. <laughs> Cabbage. Um, more broccoli. These are just starting to form. Just starting there. Um, garlic, doing well. Turnips. About six of them left, I think. I'll grow them again next year. They're alright. And then Swedes. They're on this side. These take a long time. A lot longer than the turnips. Don't know why. Yeah, you can see there. You're getting there. Um, and the beetroot. Started harvesting beetroot last week. We did some roasted in some um, balsamic vinegar and it was beautiful. So yeah, plenty of beetroot. Um, grapevine, which has been cut back and trained to how I want it. So that should be springing back to life soon. So, yeah, all in all pretty good. And today, we had our garage sale. Well, the first day of it, we do it Saturday and Sunday. And, um, yeah, went really, really good. Had all my potted up herbs and bits and pieces, and uh, some veggies, um, and some cut bunches of herbs. You can see there's leftovers here for tomorrow. Because we only do it between like six and lunchtime. So these are the leftovers for tomorrow. Hello chickens. But yeah, to show you how well we did, this is just from the uh, herbs and um, vegetables. So I think it's about 114, something like that. Very happy with that. There's my kid's sign. Fresh organic herbs. There's lemongrass. And there's the herbs bunched there. And there's some Tuscan cabbage. So yeah, all in all, a good day and hopefully a repeat tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I guess another couple of weeks and then it's spring and uh, we'll do it all over again. It'll be one year of uh, Veggie Patch in Perth videos in the next uh, video. So yeah, thanks to everyone and any questions, just post them below and I'll answer them um, as quick as I can. Thank you. See you later. Bye.